<laughs> yeah, you live and direct Love in the mix. Radio. Yeah, you live and direct in the mix with DJ XXL and Street Gems Radio on Blog Talk Radio. Right now, we're just chilling in the building, waiting for Freaky Ziki to call in so we can get some updates on his new project and his thing coming here to Chicago. So everybody just kick back, relax, and listen to some hip-hop, man. We bringing the heat to the streets. Street Gems Radio, baby. Yo, you live and direct on blogtalk.com radio with Street Gems Radio. I am DJ XXL of the Chicago Police Division. And we in the building right now with Freaky Ziki from the Ultimate Click, the dip set. Man, what's good with you, Freaky? Yeah, first and foremost, you know it's your boy, Freaky. We in the building, dip set, dip set, dip set. The president is in the building, man. I'm always working, man, man. I wake up at 6 o'clock and I end my night sometimes at 6 o'clock, man. I ain't no stopping. There ain't nothing going on but the mortgage, man. He don't even care what's going on. You got to have your death and everybody in your family could have died. He said, well, you know you got into the 15th. I ain't, you know, I apologize for what's going on with y'all. But uh, if you don't pay that, you gonna, you might as well bury yourself too. So your boy been <laughs> working, you know what I'm saying? No doubt, man. So um, I see you coming down to the Windy City tomorrow. What y'all got working over here? Oh man, the shot tap. Country boy yes, can't sir. tap me nothing. You <laughs> got my man from the late great. Uh, we out there, of course. We got a diplomat show going on out there. You know what I'm saying? We're going to turn it up, turn it out, turn it over. You know what I'm saying? Do everything we're supposed to do. Give you that live energy. Because when we rock, it's more than music. You know what I'm saying? So y'all really going to feel the music besides just listening to it. We're going to shake it up. Regular, sort of shake it style. You know what I'm saying? No doubt, man. Um, I just, um, I seen the flyer, man. And we've been promoting that for you as well, Chicago Fleet. Because, you know, we definitely support Freaky Ziki. We definitely support the dip set. And, man, that lineup is incredible, man. You got PD Crack on there, Freeway, your boy Fiend, Osino. Man, the whole the whole joint, man, the whole state property fam. How'd you uh, put that together? Yeah, I mean, it's the walk down memory lane. You know what I'm saying? We all family. We was, we was all um, in the same camp together. You know what I'm saying? We was on on Rockefeller Records, so... Why not bring that old school back, you know what I'm saying, as these young boys would say. But with me, I'm still fresh in the flesh, you know what I'm saying. I still shake and rumble in the jungle with the best of them, you know what I'm saying. So they may say, you know, because you got, you got to figure right now, the kids are getting ready to be 16 who was born in 2000. Right. You know what I'm saying? And we, we started shaking. We had our debut in 98. So a lot of these young young people could actually... See they moms and they pops go and it could rebirth what the diplomats did in the past. You know what I'm saying? Because we we used to actually myself, Cam, Jimmy, Joel, we used to call ourselves the East Coast in WA. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Because we felt we was a force that couldn't be reckoned with, and they ain't understand us. And we got we got a, a lot of slack of us just expressing ourselves and just being ourselves. That's that's kind of why we named ourselves the diplomats in the first place because um. I never forget a Cam uncle <clears throat> was um looking um was talking to us and we just interrupted him. We was like, oh, hey hey man, why that guy's over there by the, the fire the fire hydrant and the police went over there and when he wrote when he went to write down his license plate he seen his plate he just tore up the ticket and got up out of there and he told us oh man shoot he he got them diplomat plates he good he basically do what he want when he want and that's right. basically how to how to birth for the diplomat name actually started that's that's some archive secrets that a lot of you listeners that you know i mean don't know how we got our name jump popping and bouncing you know what i mean but it's gonna be a good thing to see my boy pd i mean see everybody see the hoes see everybody out there for the philly nation rocking hard body you know what i'm saying can't wait up, actually I mean, yeah i mean that show is definitely gonna be turned up i mean i feel like it's a not miss event. I mean, anybody who knows about the history of the dip set and everything knows that when the whole family comes to town and you got a lineup like that, you can't miss that. You got to break your neck to get that. You know what I mean? Yeah, state, so, state property slash diplomats. It's sort of like, it's sort of like, not even sort of like, we are part of the four founding fathers of hip hop 
because we yes, made sir. we made a we we caused we we gave a threshold that could never be walked over, but allowed to watch and walk on because of what we did and what we established in this rap game. You know what I'm saying? We've been through a lot. We we understood. We came from the era. If everybody's seen, if everybody's seen straight out of Compton, we came from the era when there was a whole bunch of Jerry's, you know what I'm saying? Doing us filthy yeah. and we didn't know what was going on and we signed, we were signing because we was 19, 20 and 21 and they just flashed 250 in front of our face, not knowing that we're going to owe that back, plus we're going to spend that, so we're going to owe that, plus owe what we, what we didn't know what we was owing, not have creative control and people just rumbling and stumbling and taking and, and vacuuming up our money but we don't know what's going on because you can't who what any 19 year old right this second he, right. if he heard 250,000 is yours just sign here don't worry I'm gonna make sure everything will be alright with you and take this Benz we, they sign it they don't care what's going on they think they life straight little do they know they basically signed they sold away for a while so we came from the era of that which we kind of taught these kids that are up and that, that are that are up and coming right now who are who are big guys in the game now that it's best to start doing your things on your own it's better to learn the business it's just not it's just it's nowhere near good just being a rapper you know what i'm saying and the diplomats was very big uh, uh, part, a very big powerful group in teaching that because i was the one who had to go to the office. Like Cam was like, everybody can't rap now. You know what I'm saying? He was like, I don't care what's going on. When we signed to the rock, Cam huddled us up and was like, look, see, you, I don't care what's going on. If you stay up 23 hours, that 24th hour, you better have your ass up in Rockefeller talking to every cubicle up in that office because we just not gonna be sitting around here and getting done like how we did in Sony because we were signed to Sony first and we got no homo ramshaft no homo no homo no homo no homo you know what I'm saying so <laughs> I, that basically that basically what pushed us forward and that's kind of what started like a little a little edgy not like a little edgy beef in Rockefeller because they, they wasn't doing that, but they didn't know that's what I was doing. You know what I mean? So Cameron album came out, then the, Diplo then the Diplomat album came out, then Joel's album came out, then we started putting mixtapes out that they started um, backing, and that was because I was talking to all these young interns every at 9 o'clock who used to count, come in, maybe hungover, or because oh, their boyfriend ain't come home, did something. With a, with a um with an artist that they was they thought that they was bringing around to show power and then they ended up getting the ladies ended up getting like getting bumped or whatever so I brought the diplomats to all the interns as far as myself is concerned and that's what helped push them forward because they seen that we was giving ourselves to the business as well as just walking around showing everybody we making money because a lot of these interns see all these rappers walk around with big chains big monies and they just intern and they're like i'm doing all this work for y'all y'all can't even come over here and wave hello you don't even gotta say hello just wave from a distance so they that's what put us up and we skipped a lot of things because I, we showed initiative to always bring the business sense as well as the rap sense into the game Word. so all of these young kids out here that's doing that now basically is taking a page from my book and plus you know our flyness is and our swag and i just and how, how we so debonair and how how ravishing we are you know what i'm saying is still splashed across the world because a lot of kids dress like us still we changed the big 5x i, I remember when i had a big 5x t-shirt with a size 42 pants and i was really 34 <laughs> and i was a medium you know what i'm saying right we, we yeah. actually took that ever and we broke it down and slim cut everything up so we could look a little bit more professional so when we did walk in the offices people recognized us as businessmen as well as as um artists too you know what i'm saying right so, right well that um brings me to my next question you know what i'm saying we got the joint all queued up you know what i'm saying Tell the people about this new joint and introduce this new joint, We Hustle. And we're going to get into oh, that record man. right quick. And then we're going to come back and talk a little bit more, all right?
Oh man, man! First and foremost, real quick, I ran under, I ran into Wayne in D.C. and I just said, man, it would be an honor for you, my brother, if you could get on this this song of mine. You know what I'm saying? That I, I feel is that your swagger put a lot of um, Tabasco sauce on and let everybody hear it. He did it in one night. Yeah, that's how that's how that's how much respect he had, Wayne has for me and I have for him. So this right here is Freaky Zeke's new single, "You Dig," featuring Lil Tootsie. It's called "We Hustle." We hustle, we hustle, we hustle, let's go! Yeah, right here live on Street Gems Radio, blogtalk.com. We hustle. My nigga, we hustle. We hustle, we hustle, we hustle. We hustle, we hustle, we hustle, we hustle, we hustle, we hustle, my nigga, we hustle. That's muscle on muscle on muscle. We hustle, we hustle, we hustle, we hustle, we hustle, we hustle, my nigga, we hustle. We hustle, we hustle, we hustle. That's muscle on muscle on muscle on muscle on muscle on muscle, my nigga, we hustle. That's hustle on hustle on hustle. Everybody knows Zeke, nigga. 7:30, that's me, nigga. Dream chaser like me, nigga. A businessman and out street, nigga. P- pulled up and I skirted off. Titties out and I skirted off. Pussy wet for that bird off. We turned up and she turned on. We hustle. We hustle. We hustle. We hustle. I'm getting that work on the muscle I'm hitting that block then we bubble My dogs bite through that muzzle I'm hauling with it when I come through My Bronx niggas ready to rumble I'm G'd up but stay humble We don't get it twisted nope. This street life we really lived it Fucking birds and we after chicken Cooking up chef in the kitchen Front line when I'm in the trenches Shitting on the rose I'm pissing Strapped up suited for business Stay on the grind we got it. My nigga get. we hustle we hustle, we hustle, we hustle. Yeah. We hustle, we hustle, we hustle, we hustle, we hustle, we hustle, my nigga, we hustle. That's muscle on muscle on muscle. Yeah. We hustle, we hustle, we hustle, we hustle, we hustle, we hustle, my nigga, we hustle. We hustle, we hustle, we hustle. Yeah. That's muscle on muscle on muscle on muscle on muscle on muscle, my nigga, we hustle. We hustle. That's hustle on hustle on hustle. Direct on blogtalk.com with your boy. Hustle, we hustle, we hustle, we hustle, yeah. Yes, sir, you live. Yeah, man, you live and direct on blogtalk.com with your boy, DJ XXL of Street Gives Radio, Chicago Fleet Division, you heard. And I got your boy, Freaky Zeke, in the building from the ultimate click, the diplomat, the dip set, dip set. So, uh, Freaky, man, Freaky. when y'all come down, when y'all come down here to Chicago, man, what y'all got for the people? What you said? Say that again. I ain't hear you big time. I'm I, said, I said when y'all, when y'all, I said when y'all uh, come down here to Chicago, man, what y'all got for the people, man? Because I know oh, it's a reunion. Man. 
you know, everybody coming together, y'all just gonna do a bunch of the classics or, you know what I'm saying, what's cracking? It's no telling, it's no telling with the dips, man. Then that we got state property there. Be honest with you, who knows what collabos may pop off? Because we done did a lot of songs with all of us, you know what I'm saying? So who knows how we might flip it and bounce it. Of course, we're going to give y'all the major classics. And at the end, we're going to hit y'all with a little bit of that new stuff. We in Austin, I mean, dab of that good old good stuff that we that people haven't heard and all. But I just, I just want to, I just, it's just... The same day I walked out, the first day I ever was on stage is how I still feel doing these shows 17, 18 years later. It's just, it's just the, the fans has never turned their back on us. They've been with us since we started, and they still rocking with us. They've been through our turmoil. They fought to see us get back together. We back together having reunions. And it's still just like we first came out with our first single and they show that love. The energy is immaculate. So shout out to all the fans out there. You know what I'm saying? All over the globe. It just so happened that we're going to be repping with our fans out there in the shy. You know what I'm saying? The Windy City. No doubt. You know what I mean? It's a lot. It's a lot. And, and also, also, big salute to the fleet DJs. You know what I'm saying? Because never has been a time when I, as soon as I ran into... Everybody from yeah, this goes this day back from years, but let's talk about the present. Soon as I said I was in, you know what I'm saying, we was rocking. It was like it was like a, a nail to the hammer, man. It just was what's supposed to go together. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just I, the, the fleet, the, everybody in the fleet has been showing me love. That's and I and I've been consistent and persistent to show the same love back. You know what I'm saying? Because. A lot of people just take for granted of what DJs do for people. You know what I mean? Like, they don't even understand, like, this is what feeds the family. This is what feeds the mother and the father, the grandfathers, and, the, and of course, what feeds yourself. You know what I'm saying? Word up. Fleet DJs play a major, 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 major part in people's lives, and they just don't know it. So big salute and shout out to all the Fleet DJs out there who go hard, who go real real hard in the paint just to make sure all oh, this is great and they break people break people's lives into a greater element man so i just wanted to put that out there before we got no doubt i might say it again you know what i'm saying but you know no, yeah, no, no doubt a, you're gonna give them a dad a, a blast in the past a little bit in the um in the present and a little bit of the future you know what i mean he said that's that's what you could expect in tomorrow's show all right you did what up what up and then you know as far as that goes man you know what i'm saying the fleet we embrace you you definitely embrace us well we love the love because we try to do as much as we can to make sure artists get their shine and that they come to us and we give them the support that they need to break these records and when i was down there at the fleet conference in north carolina i walked up to you right after you came off stage i was like yo dj xxl chicago fleet man you took a picture mm -hmm. with me everything was love everything was love yeah no motherfucking no bodyguard no bullshit type shit you know what i mean <laughs> yeah, so, yeah salute, that's that's salute to you salute to you for holding your own shit down and um you know as far as the fans go we are worldwide and we have uh, a couple of fans on the line uh one of the fans i have you know is out of la we run radio from everywhere and uh he had a couple of questions he wanted to ask so i'm gonna have him introduce himself go ahead Mhm. Mm yo, yo, yo. <clears throat> Come on the line. Yo. What's up? This is DJ Earl. Yeah, turn your phone down a little. Turn your phone down a little bit. Okay, okay. go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yo, this is DJ Early, Unseen Legion Radio, Los Angeles, California. How y'all doing out there? What's up, freaking All right. Hey, so What's I know good? you. Uh, you 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 uh, you talked a little bit about your uh, um, your own label and the business side of things, and I want to hear a little bit more about the vision for your label. It, was it something that you wanted to just do for yourself so you could have control of your music, or are you looking to uh, uh, put more artists out there and develop some more people on the on your label? Yes, definitely. My my label is this, is seven thirty. You know what I'm saying? And, and we like myself, Cam, Jim, and Joels. We all were our own leaders, you know what I'm saying? Even though we grew up together, we, we know each other the real 30 years, not I just, I knew him for a minute. We all knew each other for 30 years, and we all stood Before out. Before the fame, right. 
yeah, before the fame, we was we was them boys. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying on on a major money level, just you know the guys who were the popular guys and so forth and so on. But once Cam was um, got the, the rock, I got the record deal. You know what I'm saying? We all fo- follow suit because that was that that was our family and our, our man. A true leader knows how to follow. You know what I'm saying? That's right. why that's why we was one. That's why we uh, to date we the biggest. We the biggest crew still rocking and, and still relevant to, to the young kids as well as the older guys because we knew Cam was the boss and that's that. And we all knew on our own as everybody showed, you know what I'm saying, at, at, at a later date that we are, but we all understood Cam was the man and we did everything possible for him to shine first. And that's what <coughs> a lot of people don't understand. They think they man should shine, but as soon as they man get a dollar, they want to jump in and try to get two dollars. Like, oh, I'm nice too. I'm nice too. Nah, let the person who got y'all to the door get in the door before y'all put y'all foot in the door, trip them, and y'all mess up everything. But what I want to just to finish off, what I wanted to tell you is that once you also get to a certain point, you also want to become the man that you already know you are too once you establish yourself with Cam. Now we established Cam. Now we all became our own artists and became our leaders that we already knew we was. So we just we just branched off. We just extension of the tree. You know what I mean? So of right. course we all started our own thing. I started seven thirty, Joel started Skull Gang, Jim started um Vamp Life, you know what I mean? So everybody Are you, you looking know, to develop some more artists on, on your on the yes, label? Do you yes, have anybody that you're that you're pushing right now? Definitely. Right now, right now I have some people just on the East Coast as of right now. I got Shrek, I got Sense and Shrek Sense City and my and my boy Cole Bang, you know what I'm saying? My boy Dirty Red right. Cornbread. You know what I mean? As for right this second, but like it's it's just it starts there because I'm from there. But as I venture off, I would love to do 730 West, 730 Southwest, 730 um just regular South. You know what I mean? I would like to be global about it. Of course, cross right. these also. Definitely, definitely. I'm here to right. expand. That's that's what we did with our with the diplomat. So I definitely want to do it with 730. I guess that kind of right. leads into what I was gonna ask. So what kind of legacy do you feel you want to leave personally? on hip hop. You know, I mean you got the crew kinda of left a legacy already in a, in in the sense that bridge bridging from one kind of one era to the next. But uh mm-hmm. where do you see yourself fitting in at the end of the day? At the end of the day when um the fat lady would never sing, but when I could look finally back and just rub my belly as I just watched the money continue to grow. I wanna right. just say when they think about when they hear freaky Ziki, they they know that this guy was way more than just putting raps on beats. It was a guy who taught a lot of these young children coming up, or the or, or the older guys who was running in my in my field right now. That you have to formulate different businesses because every wealthy man or every guy who is well off in life, he had different avenues of businesses that were letting his finances be piled up into his bank account. It wasn't just one. And I want them right. to understand, it was like, oh, this guy, Freaky Ziki, he had a trucking business, and it wasn't formulated through through um, music also. Like, he did his music, but he branched off and got a trucking service. Like, right now, I have two stores in North Carolina called Perfect Pair, where I'm selling clothes, shoes, and accessories for ladies, waist trainers, butt lifters, hips, and um, the male line is coming this fall, but... Shout out to my, my there fiance. There you go, perfect, perfect pair. pair. Yeah, I've seen I that have, on the Twitter, you know Twitter feed quite often right over there. Right, so. I have that going. They just have trucking service going. I want to have um, mental health going. So when you when you look back, you're like, dang, that boy Zeke, he took it further than what a lot of these guys do. Not knocking nobody else hustles as far as getting liquors and doing clothing lines only and just staying with, through acting and all of that. But I'm everywhere. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be... You're going to know Z yeah, as a that's, person that's, that's who dope, took music man. but really was a businessman about that. So I want all these kids to know that it doesn't end here. You can broaden your horizons by not just staying in music. You could just send it everywhere else. Word out, Word, man. man. Word out. Appreciate that. Thanks yeah, for talking no to problem. me. And uh, we'll be checking back with you on Unseen Leading Radio. Yeah, LA. LA was good, baby. Word. No doubt. Yeah, we out here. 
Yeah, yeah, man. We huh? also, uh, I'm, we stay in contact with Freaky. We're going to make sure, you know what I'm saying, we get him that Unseen Legion radio connect so he can come through Chinatown and rock that Unseen Legion radio for y'all. And that's also a live venue, too, Freaky, where you can actually perform live on the radio and you be on the internet as well performing. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's hot. Okay, no, nah, I'm definitely, I'm all the way with that. That's the sort of something like streaming or something? Yeah, it's live. yeah, we we stream live, live on the internet. Okay, and, uh, we, yeah. we do interviews, we do live performances. We we uh, we have a studio out in Chinatown that we uh, do video and we do the audio from the from there every week. So, oh so yeah, well, yeah, online. we don't. Yeah, well, yeah, sure. I mean, get in contact with my manager Paul. We could get. I'm a I'm a working man, man. I'm around the clock, man. So if it's something that I need to have done. I will get it done. You know what I'm saying? Word so, up, word up. We'll, 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 we'll get in contact then. No doubt. Uh, yeah, well, I'll definitely uh, give Malone to give me uh, your management number, and I'll get him in contact with DJ Early. We'll get that done. But also, on the line, we got uh, my man Big Baby out of VA. Go on and ask your questions, man. Yo, what's Big good, baby. man? How you doing, man? <laughs> Big baby! <laughs> what's good? Ain't much chilling, man. You know... You know my folk, they be bringing y'all down here a lot of times. You know Doughboy? Yeah, Doughboy, he nah, That's family, you know what I'm saying? That ain't yeah. my friends and them. That's families and them. I, I found myself twisted on by his toilet bowl one time. Like, what am I doing around right here? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 that's Doughboy. Doughboy, wild boy. Yeah, man. Yeah, I was yeah, just, you know, out. trying to shout out, man, because I got some all. Uh, I got some hungry youngins, man, that's been grinding, man, and they did some work with uh, with uh, XXL, man, you know. And, and the youngins, they, they 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 looking for a way out, man, you know what I mean? Because it's getting crazy down here in the hoods. So youngins yeah. just looking for a way out, and they trying to, you know, find their lane in this music shit. But, you know, like, you know it's hard, so it's harder for them to find their lane in it. So my question to you is, like, What's the best way for them to go about it? Because like here in VA, bro, you you done been here, you know what it is. It ain't it ain't a yeah. lot going on down here as far as like avenues to patch yourself into the right situation. So my question to you would be like, what what do you think the best way for them to go about getting some more attention for themselves is? As far as getting more attention to themselves, they have they have the gateway that that we never had. We never had internet. We really had to go door to door and, and state to state and city to city to actually get our stuff rocking. You know what I'm saying? These these dudes need to really, if, they, if there's a crew of them, they need to sit down with a positive mindset on how they're going to get a little bit of money up and on a positive note, even if you got to work. There's a lot of people that had John Ludacris had to work in before he got on. He was working at the radio. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't out there wowing or whatever the case may be. Get they self together where they could get a little bread together and start hitting that internet hard. There's a lot of kids out here who's been like, look at Young Dwarf. He hasn't he hasn't get a major radio airplay too tough, but he's staying on that internet. He stayed on the grind. His little YouTube like he got a YouTube channel. Blow the YouTube channel up. My man all gold everything. That's how he popped off the um off the um off the internet. So they had a tool that I never had to use. Ninety eight, there was nothing called the internet like that. You know what I'm saying? Right, so right, what right. they need to do is focus and challenge their mind on hitting that internet hard and look and check dates on when there's a lot of DJs in one spot. They have places where it's, it's there's a lot of things that go on with a lot of DJs in one spot. Find out when those dates are gonna be, when those little um, when those um times are gonna be, so when them conventions are gonna be, so they can go roll over there and knock, and they could get more bang for they buck. You know what I'm saying? Instead of trying to right. associate, or try to find one DJ at a time, they find out when there's a convention when all the DJs are gonna be there, and then they go there and they pass out they um they mix tapes, they get a chance, or they pay they little um money, they pay their money to get on stage and perform and that's how they could that's how they could really um, move forward in life much faster you know what I'm saying because there's DJ conventions all, all the time throughout the year so you gotta right, put right. in your footwork you, you just can't be sitting on the block talking about man I'm nice but nobody wanna give me a chance nobody right. wanna let me do nothing or oh, I'm stuck in the hood nah fam go check hit the internet and go see when the DJ conventions popping off, and then go take yourself there, get your bread up, 
Have your mixtape together. Have your little, have your little skits in order so when you do get on stage, that you know you get recognized and, and become that needle that's found in the haystack. You know what I mean? Right, 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 right. Okay. I see. I overheard you talking. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm with you 100. I overheard you speaking about you know y'all, y'all was seeking some artists at, at, at the thing you're doing now, and you was trying right. to branch, branch it out. So, like, right. like, what are y'all looking for for artists to be picked up through through your company? I mean, we don't. I don't. I don't pinpoint. I can't pinpoint the talent. Like, I'm looking for this person or this type of dude or something. Like, we didn't. Like, when we signed Jewels, we didn't. We didn't know what to think. We just said rap, and he had something that was special. I, I can't. I don't. I can't name what the special. What 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 it was or. How he did it or what he said is just something. If I hear the guy and it's something that moves me, is and and I just it just touches my heart in a different way. That's how I'ma move with it, and that so far it's been working phenomenal. You know what I'm saying? So, that's, yo, this is run Excel, into man. Me. And and I don't mind taking time out to listen because I remember when nobody used to listen to um, myself. Jim or Cam, you know what I'm saying? And, okay. and when Yo. somebody finally did, we, we rocked off. I always pay homage to the, to the people coming up because I was one of them. Yo, this is oh, XL. Okay, so ass. you need to get on uh, SoundCloud. I think it's something y'all need to hear. Um, these cats, you know, DMB, I've done a mixtape with them. They've done a remix of uh, what we do, which I feel is the hardest remix I ever heard because ain't nobody gonna ever do free, outdo Freaky Bean Day. That was a killer track, Jay, the whole joint. But this joint, you need to hear. And I think that, you know, you might really understand, you know what I'm saying, where they're coming from if you y'all keep that remix out. It's on SoundCloud. Yeah, definitely. Definitely hit up SoundCloud. There's a lot of, like I said, make sure you take advantage of that internet. That's my two things, conventions and that internet. A lot of times, a lot of places, you could place your music where a whole bunch of DJs will listen to it. You know what I mean? There's a whole bunch of things out there that you could do that could be more influential than just standing on the block and trying to yell at each other about making it. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. that's, that's, what I, that's what I would recommend. All right, right. That's what's up. But I know this about you, man. So my next question is, you know, What's what's your next move, you know, towards your venture and what you trying to do, you know what I mean? And and, and how soon will I possibly hear hear some noise from you here in VA? Cause uh, I well, keep my right ear now, right, right this right this second, the fourth quarter is coming. The end of the year is going, but that's not gonna stop me putting out music. You know what I'm saying? But I'm basically gearing. To be honest, gearing towards um, the first quarter, but in the meantime, between time, between now and then, I'ma just be putting out a lot of just not throwaways, but joints that are keep keep me bubbling and hitting the internet, going hard, doing videos, wilding out, doing skits, and I'ma be on tour with the with the dip, as well as myself. I'ma be on the about to be on the smokers tour with um, my boy Johnny Shipes. So I'm gonna get that all in order, but definitely look forward to to the um, breaking of the new year. But in the, in the meantime, between time, I'm gonna be doing my thing, letting everybody know that I'm on the way. You know what I'm saying? Got right a up. couple of good features. They not edge. They's not all the way on wax. Matter of fact, I'm in I'm in the whip right now, driving to the studio to put some of that hot lava together right now. Word up, man. Um, well, saying that, man. We got to wrap this joint up. I didn't mean to cut you off, Troy. I'm going to let you finish up. But, you know, we only got about three or four minutes here. So go ahead and finish up, Troy. And then we're going to wrap this interview up. Now, I'm Gucci, man. I just want to let them know, man. Just check for me, man. Uh, DJ XXL got my single, man. My name, Big Baby. I got a joint called I Got You. It's a trap record, but I don't really do trap. I'm an East Coast rapper, but... You know what I mean? I can mix I me. Mean, I can do anything. So you know what I mean? I mix it up. Yeah. But tell uh, tell XXL music. to shoot good that. Good music is good music. music. It don't matter. Right. Good music is good music, bro. It don't matter how how you formulate it in the words. If you and if it moves you, that's what it is. All right. So tell XXL to shoot that to you, so you can check no for doubt. that, man. And hopefully, I see you in the future. I will catch you down here with, when you come down. When y'all come down again, I'm gonna try to get with Dope so I can link with you and, and, and see you face to face, Ace. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. I definitely gonna be out there. I should be out there like in a couple of weeks too, just on my own bullshit. Okay, I'm gonna check with Dodie. All right, Zeke.
All right, boys, stay up. Stay safe. Definitely stay safe. Right, man. Well, uh, man, uh, y'all live and direct uh, on Blog Talk Radio with DJ XXL with the Chicago Fleet Division. We got Freaky right here. Freaky, man, just wrapping up this joint, you know. I just wanted to send it around the country. I took you to VA. I took you to L.A. Just letting everybody just feel what you got going on. And we right here in Chicago, and we're going to be ready for y'all tomorrow night, man. So, uh, you know, what you want to say in conclusion, my boy? Oh, in conclusion, everybody out there for once, I mean, for one, I appreciate all of it, man, because I've been, I've been shot over this. I've been, I've been locked up over this. You know what I'm saying? I've been through a lot of turmoil. When they say blood, sweat, and tears, Freaky has really been through each and every one of them to the fullest. And, and my, my fans always stuck with me. They, they just kept me, they kept me alive. You know what I'm saying? They kept me motivated when I was in the belly of the beast. And they kept me motivated to keep doing what I'm doing when I'm out here rocking. I just want to salute all my fans and all that. Like I said, the fleet DJs for holding me down, you know what I'm saying, as well as holding me up. And we got a lot of things that we're going to push forward with. And I got y'all. I'm not in front of y'all or back of y'all. I'm on, on the side of y'all. We're going to march through this joint and kid tear the world, you know what I'm saying? And also, just to let out on my IG, my IG is Freaky730. You spell it. F-R-E-E-K-E-Y 730 And that's the same for my Snapchat and my Twitter And once again, if y'all ladies is out there Shop Perfect Pairs www.perfectpairsshoestore.com Located in Greensboro, North Carolina As well as in Durham You know what I'm saying? I'm a go-getter, I'm a hustler I'm always going to do what I got to do And salute everybody who's rocking with the dip 730 in the building, you heard? Because we awesome! You dig, Shabal? Frankie! Salute. Like so. Salute. Word. Word. Appreciate no doubt, it. Friend. Appreciate it. I can't. What up, baby? I'm be out there. You know what it is. Freaky gonna yes, get it in. Freaky does it. Because Freaky does it. Because Freaky does it. You hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. We're going to get up to this. what it is, boy. Yeah, we're going to get up in touch yeah, with you, you know, and talk to your manager so we can get you that L.A. connect. And, um, you know, we'll get in touch with you so you can get some drops out, you know, to L.A. And, you know, we get some out here in Chicago, get that shit motivated with the new single. And, man, just thank you for coming on. And we salute your grind, man. We salute you. Yeah, nah, likewise, likewise with y'all because it take a lot to do what you're doing as well as it do with me. So we intertwine as one, man. It was nothing, man. I'm here. I'm here to make sure y'all good as well as y'all do with me. So y'all salute to y'all. Let's get it rocking. It's dip set for life. Seven thirty dips, boy. We in the building, man. I holler at y'all. I'm about to walk in this um, studio right now. And get my hustle on. Stay. All right, Please man. DJ, up, man. You already motherfucking know. Yes, sir. All right, man. Peace. Yo, man. You live on Blog Talk Radio with Street Gems Radio. BlogTalk.com, man. We just. Dropped it up and chopped it up with Freaky Ziki from the dip set. Everybody who was listening, yo, everybody who wasn't, this gonna be available on YouTube within a week. Um, yeah, get out to Chicago and check that out, man. There's uh, tickets on Ticketmaster, and uh, they gonna be bringing Joey Crack. They gonna be bringing, um, uh, I think, Beanie Siegel, the whole state property fam in the dip set. It's gonna be a hot show. It's a not miss event. Check it out. This is DJ Double Extra Large of the Chicago Fleet Division, and you live on Blog Talk Radio with Street Gems Radio. Hey! You're rocking with the Fleet DJs.